All right, so here we have um, two solutions that are mixed, a solution of sodium carbonate and silver nitrate. Two solutions mixed, and we want to know, will precipitation occur? Okay, so in order to answer this kind of a question, we need to look at each of these solutions and say, what is actually in the solution? Okay, so... Um, when we put, uh, you know, a solution is made from this solid sodium carbonate dissolved in water. Okay, so when we put this with water, um, since it's a solution, we know it's going to be soluble, but we can verify that with uh, the solubility tables or solubility rules. Um, and seeing that sodium there, all sodium salts, are soluble so we know that's going to be soluble also nitrates all nitrates are soluble so both of these salts are soluble when mixed in water okay so what does that mean what happens when sodium carbonate is put in water well the uh, ionic compound it's an ionic compound made from the positive cations and the negative anions and when you put that in water it separates okay so the uh, two sodium ions they break off and we actually they completely separate and we have two separate sodium ions and then we also have a carbonate ion okay so um, it's important to show our charges that indicates um, that this is an ion um, you also need to know that you should have the carbonate ion memorized um, and so you see that co3 you know it it uh, is one unit it doesn't break apart at the carbon and the oxygen level it's co3 the carbonate ion um, as a negative two charge okay so when we put this in water when this is aqueous when we dissolve that salt this is actually what is in our solution. We have a bunch of sodium ions and half as many uh, carbonate ions. Okay, And we do the same thing with the silver nitrate. Um, and it will split up just the same. When it dissolves, it's breaking apart those um, silver ions from the nitrate ions. Again, you recognize that polyatomic ion okay and you know it has a negative one charge so the counterbalancing ion must be a positive one charge even if you didn't know that silver has that uh, positive one charge okay so when you put these in water and they become aqueous the um, uh, you have a positive charge and a negative charge this is what is actually in that silver nitrate solution those uh, equal amounts of those ions floating around in that solution okay so the question is will precipitation occur okay that means now I, I've mixed these two solutions so now I have all four of these ions floating around in the same solution Okay, precipitation will occur if some combination of those will produce a solid compound. Okay, that's where um, you know we can do this without writing out all of the ions, and we can we can say okay, because there's only one other combination that we can get, and that is if the silver instead of being with the nitrate is with the carbonate, um, we'll have Ag. And that's a negative 2, so this is, uh, I need two of those, Ag2CO3. And, and then I've used up my silver and the carbonate, so that just leaves me with sodium and nitrate. Okay, now when we predict our products, we are looking at just the ions themselves, not how many are in uh, that first compound. Uh, or the, our reactant compounds, we look at the ion, we say, okay, I have a positive ion, 
and a negative ion. Okay, negative one, positive one, so they balance out one to one. I don't have to, um, in fact, I don't want to look at these numbers when I'm writing my new formulas. This needs to balance out to zero in its own uh, way. That's why I did that here. I look at that positive one from there. Now it's with a negative two. It's not with the negative one. So I have to have two of those silver ions. Okay. So these are uh, my two possible products. Okay. Now um, the question is, are those, uh, are either of those a solid? Because if one of those is a solid, that would be my precipitate. But if both of these are soluble compounds, okay, then essentially on the right side of my arrow, I'd have those same, uh, same ions floating around. They wouldn't recombine into any precipitate, okay? So uh, that would be an example where there would be no reaction, okay? You mix them all together, there's nothing to recombine, there's no reaction. Um, there would be no net ionic equation. The net ionic equation tells us exactly what is happening if there is a reaction happening. And if there's no net ionic equation, there's no reaction. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, do the net ionic equation. Um, first, though, we need to balance this um, overall equation. We have two silver ions, so we need two over there. Two sodium ions, so we need two over here. And um, that gives us the, uh, the right numbers and everything balances out. Okay, now, um, since I put a two here, when I'm writing my total ionic equation, I need to carry that out in that equation as well both the silver ions and the nitrate ions because I have two silver nitrate formula units so when that breaks apart I have two silver ions and two nitrate ions okay so I've already done the reactant side let's look at the product side okay um, well this one is easy enough all sodium salts are soluble, all nitrates are soluble, so we know that one is going to be soluble. I'll go ahead and, and write that one first, first uh, since, um, since that one is, is an easy one. Okay, And I'll have, again, that 2 is carried over, so that's 2 nitrate ions. Okay, Now I'm being a little bit meticulous and writing out all of these um, aqueous symbols, sometimes I neglect to do that, but they are implied. Those ions are in an aqueous solution. Okay, so then the remaining question is, is this silver carbonate soluble or insoluble? Okay, so um, if you look at this in a solubility table, and that's what you, you need, you need to reference the solubility table in your textbook. Um, I uh, um, could show that, but uh, your solubility table, however it's organized, you'll it'll, it'll probably have a section for carbonates, and it'll say most carbonates are insoluble, okay? And it may list some exceptions. For example, sodium um, carbonate is uh, a soluble salt. Um, you can generalize that uh, exception. All of the alkali metals like sodium, potassium, um, those carbonates are soluble, but uh, most other carbonates are insoluble. Okay, silver carbonate therefore is an insoluble salt, and therefore, how would we write that? Okay, we, we're writing it in our net in our total ionic equation, just the way that it appears in the solution when we put this in solution, it dissolves, it separates into those ions. But when we put this insoluble compound in water, nothing happens. It stays soluble. It remains as a unit. 
And so we write it just the same way, Ag2CO3, okay? In this case, we would put a solid subscript, indicating that this is a solid compound, okay? So that's our total ionic equation, all right? We've written everything out just the way that it appears um, in the real solution when we make these uh, solutions and mix them together, okay? And uh, so to, the, an to the, the simple answer to the question is, will precipitation occur? Yes, the reason is because this product is a soluble compound. That is our precipitate. So when we mix these uh, two solutions, these ions come together, and then uh, the carbonate, which was originally with the sodium, now it joins up with the, uh, the silver, and it forms that precipitate. Okay, so what you would uh, find is this uh, cloudy, this solution would become cloudy and this would float or uh, sink down to the bottom. Right? Um, let me go ahead and just uh, write the net ionic equation for this reaction. That's where we cancel the ions that are the same on both sides. Okay, so I have two sodium ions here, two sodium ions there. I have two nitrate ions and two nitrate ions. Those, they're floating around in the reactant side, they're floating around in the product side. They didn't really do anything, okay? It's only the silver and the carbonate that um, actually participated in this reaction, okay? So my net ionic equation just focuses in on what is actually happening. Where is the actual um, reaction happening in this uh, mixture, okay? And so this is what you would end up with, just removing what has canceled. And uh, if, if you have a net ionic equation, then there's a reaction. That's the reaction. The silver is combining with the carbonate to form silver carbonate, okay? Um, once again, like I mentioned before, if this compound were a soluble compound, they would also cancel. All of those ions would cancel. There would be no net ionic equation. That would be a case where there would be no reaction. Um, and the answer to a question like that, would precipitation occur? There would be no net ionic equation, no reaction, no precipitation would occur. Okay, but in this example, it does because of this solid carb, uh, carbonate compound. Okay.